Wednesday, July 9th. Okay, so the moon in Leo energy is going to go void, of course, at 2.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Virgo energy at 9.48 a.m. So a short window where the moon is void. And when the moon is void, things are shaky, things are uncertain, things are unstable. And so we do kind of question ourselves. The certainty that we had definitely gets shaken up. We start kind of double guessing. And we are really put in a situation to have to find stability within ourselves until the moon locks into that Virgo energy. Now, the transition from Leo energy to Virgo energy is always a noticeable one because, of course, we're bringing something out into the world with the moon in Leo. We have new thoughts, new ideas, new feelings. We have new passions, new desires, new ideas that we now want to pursue. The Virgo energy being an earth sign that is ruled over by Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, puts us in a situation to analyze our plans, to add logic and practicality to them, to really process these ideas a little bit more thoroughly and really kind of, I'm going to say, pick apart what needs to stay, what needs to go to help us remove the aspects that will be blocking us from this new path. And of course, clear the path up for us to pursue this new direction, this new passion, this new idea. Now, there are seven different aspects taking place here today, so a relatively quiet day in the cosmos. However, all seven of them are involving the moon, which means that this is a moon day, a day to emotionally refine how it is that we're thinking, how it is that we're feeling, the goal, the vision, the dream that we're actively now wanting to pursue. We kick the day off with the moon in Leo energy, making a very positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. This is going to emotionally charge us up to see where it is that new ideas, new inspirations, new motivations, pushing us into a new chapter of growth. We're ready to change. We're ready to evolve, especially if we can align with this new goal, this new vision, this new dream that has our heart active in really wanting to bust away from the old and pursue the new. The moon is going to get into the boxing ring, square off with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. This is going to be the last aspect that the moon in Leo makes before going void, of course. A square, of course, creates tension and conflict. The Uranian energy is trying to show us where it is that we have to make a spontaneous change, where it is that we have to open up to new ideas, new methods, new ways of doing things in order to create a different result. But again, we are at the point in this square where we're starting to second guess ourselves. So our confidence is not up. Our passion is kind of dwindling. We're starting to really kind of dissect the vision, the goal, the dream, and try to make excuses on why we do not want to grow, why we we do not want to evolve 204 a.m. The moon is going void, of course. While the moon is void, but still in this Leo energy, we're going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Cancer energy. Again, really getting down to the nitty gritty of our new wants, new needs, new desires, what we have to do to nurture ourselves back to a place of health and wellness, where the boundaries need to be put into place, especially in our personal relationship dynamics, so that we don't continue sacrificing our own happiness, our own dreams to make other people happy. This particular interaction definitely going to be a heart activation, if nothing else, to put us in a perspective to realize what it is that we need to do for ourselves, what we have to do for our soul mission, what we 100% essentially really need to do in order for us to be happy, to feel safe, to feel secure, to actually build something new within ourselves that again, will definitely spill out and overflow into our personal relationship dynamics, taking our power back from a lot of the emotional exchanges that have taken too much of our energy in the first place. The moon, while still in Leo energy, while void, of course, is going to make a very tough interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, now retrograde in this place of power in this Pisces energy, still at the 29th degree. So the moon being at the 29th degree of Leo is making a very tough interaction with Neptune at the 29th degree of Pisces energy. This is where things fall apart, where we start kind of second guessing the goal, the vision, the dream, where we're starting to kind of logically and practically trying to dissect 
our intuition. And of course, that never goes well. The moon in the Leo energy, yes, is aligned with the heart space, but also very connected to the 3D realm, very connected to the physical realm. And we're allowing that physical realm and those details to dictate what is possible for us. Neptune, of course, is pushing us to abandon our materialistic realm to double down on the faith, on the hope, on the wish that we now have for our future vision, for our future dream. 9.48 a.m., the moon is going to be locking into Virgo energy. Reminder, Virgo energy is the fixer, the healer of the zodiac, but we have to identify the problems in order to fix them. So the first part of the moon's transit in this Virgo energy is going to be highly focused on what is not going right. All that is wrong, everything that is a challenge, everything that is an obstacle, everything that is a blockage. Now, we jump into the very first aspect with the moon in Virgo around noon. It is a tough interaction. It's taking place with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in the Aquarius energy. So again, Pluto's whole gist here is trying to illuminate where it is that the divide, the power struggle, still very alive and well within us, where it is that we have areas and room to improve, especially in our perspective, acting as the observer to observe the challenges the obstacles, the blockages, and where it is that we can essentially break free by changing the way that we look at them, the way that we feel about them. The moon in this Virgo energy, again, looking to analyze the finer details of our psyche, of our mental plane, of our inner dialogue, to see where it is that we can flip the script and empower ourselves to see things from a different set of eyes, to see things from a totally different light. The moon is then going to semi-square the sun. The sun, of course, still in this cancer energy, now kind of pivoting, focusing in on what we need to do in this present moment to build a better situation for ourselves in the future. Any time that the moon and the sun are coming together in any kind of interaction, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be a new emotional awareness of wants, of needs, of desires that typically speaking, because this is a semi-square, is going to be illuminated out of the struggle, out of the frustration, out of the agitation, out of the blockages. And so again, the moon in Virgo rapidly trying to process what needs to stay, what needs to go. The sun shining a bright light in this cancer energy, very focused on our basic needs, on what we need to do to feel safe and secure, not only in our emotional realm, but in our physical realm as well. And this particular interaction likely going to kind of trigger a lot of light bulb moments on what it is that we could do differently, what it is that we need to close the door upon, what it is that we need to pursue from here, what it is that we have power and control over here in this present moment to help build a safer, more secure, more happier place for our future selves. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Virgo energy, making a very positive interaction with this North Node in Aries energy. This is us kind of logically, practically starting to plan and scheme and strategize the moves that we are going to be making to break away from the old, close the door on particular chapters and really start promoting the growth needed, the building steps needed in order to break us away from where it is that we've been at and get us closer to where it is that we desire to be. This is evolving. This is growing. This is changing. This is transforming. But of course, we have to get a grip and come to a certain place of acceptance in our heart and in our head before we're going to see those physical changes be offered to us here in the physical realm.